It's not what you did yesterday or today. It's what you will do tomorrow that's important. This philosophy has fueled Frank Calandra Jr. for over five decades, leading to the development and growth of Frank Calandra Incorporated, or FCI, and Genmar Corporation from a single entity into an international conglomerate. The companies are synonymous with high-quality products, service, and state-of-the-art ground control technology, specializing in underground mining, tunneling, and civil construction industries. A visionary always looking to the future, not just to tomorrow, but to years down the road, Frank has been able to keep his companies vital and relevant. Frank's ability to always see the big picture has led to his position as one of the most revered businessmen in the industry. He has earned the respect of operators and manufacturers for his ability to navigate various industries, business climates, and global competition, and for never being afraid to take a risk. Central to Frank's success has been a customer-first culture. Before you sit down to do business with Frank, he inquires about your family and other things that might be going on in your life. Only then does he dig into the issues of what you need from his products and services for your company to be successful. For customers, price is not the differentiator. It's the service philosophy, the promise made and kept to deliver and stand behind quality products that wins his customer base. While working for his father's scrapping company, FCI, Frank was frequently in and out of the coal mines. He saw a need for more efficiency and a better way to support the strata in mines. With the creation of Genmar and his patented combination bolt and install bolt, he revolutionized the mining industry. Frank's innovation and commitment to making the mines safer and more efficient is demonstrated by his company's 100 patents, 20 of which are his own. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, Frank helped transform and implement standards in mining by advocating for requirements upgrading the strength of steel and other safety specifications in mining roof supports, specifically the American Society for Testing and Materials F432 standards. Jimmy Brock, CEO of Console Energy, firmly believes if you look at safety statistics, there is a direct correlation between the penetration of Genmar and its affiliates into coal mining and the decline of serious or fatal incidents in the workplace. We all know that you cannot be in the mining industry if safety is not the number one priority. Thanks to the strides in engineering, ground control and other products Frank and his companies have implemented over the years, the industry has climbed to its safest levels in its history. While a respected industry leader, Frank has never lost sight that his employees are what drives his success. He knows most of his employees by name, and many of them have been with Frank for decades. John Stankus, president of Genmar's KMS division, shared, Frank is the kind of guy you want to work for and go the extra mile for. He demands a lot, but leads by example with character, work ethic, and integrity. No one leaves a job at Genmar. The financial rewards and benefits are great. Even in times of economic downturn, rather than eliminate jobs, Frank asks his team to take pay cuts, but quickly restores salaries when finances turn around. A strong advocate for the coal industry, Frank has contributed his time, expertise, and financial support as an active member of many industry associations, including the National Mining Association, Society for Mining, Metallurgy and Exploration, and many others. He also strongly believes in giving back to his community. As an Army veteran, he is a generous supporter of veterans' organizations, Boy Scouts of America, scholarships, and many other programs. Since joining FCI in 1965 to founding Genmar in 1968, to his current role as chairman of the board of FCI and Genmar, Frank has become an icon in safety, service, and innovation. Industry veteran Kevin Crutchfield is convinced, if the aim of the National Mining Hall of Fame is to recognize those pioneers and innovators that have left an indelible mark on our industry, I can think of no one more deserving of induction than Frank Calandra, Jr.